looking for something very fast something that won't really take my time and that was how i went into makeup and i was like wow okay makeup actually these days has gone beyond makeup is another tool we Hustle Wella, as you know, is a show that brings you the hustle story of everyday people. We are here to throw the spotlight on engaging individuals and bring out all the hidden talents out there. It's Hustle Wella. My name is Uche Uchika. Today I'm with Akon, the CEO of Econified Atelier. Please, may we get to know you more. Okay, my name is Donatus Econ Blessing, CEO of Econified Atelier. So we're into makeup, pedicure, manicure, and we also sell makeup products also, and we do home service. So why makeup? Alright, okay, I decided to go into makeup. It all started in 2013 when we had ASU strike i was in my final year so it now extended to 214 so when i graduated i decided to go and learn one trade or the other so i now thought about makeup i was looking for something very fast something that won't really take my time and that was how i went into makeup and i was like wow okay makeup actually these days has gone beyond makeup is another tool we women will use in enhancing our beauty any any public misconception about the makeup industry that you want to address yes the thing i want to address is when you tell some client your price and they'll be like wow that's too expensive is it not just makeup everybody's practically a makeup artist and is it not just powder and the rest that no we can't pay for that so what i want to say to them out there is that makeup is not just makeup there is a professional in every field so you don't just go to any makeup artist and you want somebody lesser to give you same thing somebody yes that is higher to give the same result is not so the people out there should change their perspective about it okay um how lucrative is this makeup business yes yeah it's really <laughs> lucrative yes but the thing there is that you have to get your client you have to get customer to come in when you have all that you have referrals you have people coming in makeup is really repeated there is money in makeup trust me I, I want to enter from now like how do you source for these customers that you're talking about okay how i source for my customers is on social medias like my instagram you can get me on instagram at a qualified atelier you can get me on facebook and you can on my whatsapp too and another thing how i sought for my for my clients is that i talk to my friends and family about something like a commission when you refer me there is a commission for you yeah. so that one too brings in referrals so if you are giving me a client that is paying for instance fifty thousand naira, you're getting a commission what 10 percent of what that so if it is below that's a five percent so with that i'll be able to get some in our prayers. society you know we are where we are very religious where we are there are a lot of a set of people a lot of people that have um, this notion negativity about the whole concept of makeup how do you handle the negativity that comes with that okay first of all you have to talk to them you have to make them understand makeup and you have to let them know that makeup is of different grades so we have your everyday makeup like you're not carrying anything and you have the in between and you have the loud one so you talk to them and you tell them that they, oh you can actually you don't really need most times you don't even need a foundation if you have a good powder because i know of some powders that are two in one i think tara they have such 
it's 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 two in one so if you get something like that i think it works for people that don't really like makeup Now, the process involved in making up a person, when somebody comes to you for makeup, what, how do you go about it? Is it the person's uh, facial characteristics and personality that determines the kind of makeup? Or the person already has something in mind that they want to do? What, what's the whole process involved in it? Okay, that I'll have to explain in bits. One, some clients will come in and they'll tell you what exactly they want like i had a job today and the girl was like oh i have something this is what i want so such clients i give you exactly what you want but i make it unique and better than what you showed me and secondly when i see a face most times i have it in mind okay this is what i want to do this is how i want this to come out this is what i want to achieve and at the other way around yeah. again I, I just flow with the spirit like and it comes out well so how do you cope with a saturated market like we have in the makeup industry where we have so many people now into makeup oh how i i don't really but i'm friends with my customers and i give them that feeling that when they walk in they want to come back and they want to refer people I make sure I attend to my customers' needs and I'm friendly and I just keep it simple. If I come to you for makeup, what are the different makeup options available to me? Okay, first I will ask you, what is the occasion you are going for? Is it a wedding or is it a club party or a bridal shower? Because we have different types of makeup. We have the nude makeup of which even those that don't believe in makeup like the question you asked me earlier mm. can go for it we have makeup for we have bridal makeup we have the type of bridal makeup the traditional and the white wedding and we have makeup for runway so we have different types of makeup actually okay uh, um to you as a person what does makeup represent to you is it an art or a business but throw more light what is is an act because there are some women out there that don't have confidence in themselves and makeup actually brings out confidence in one so it's an act and also it's a business i went into makeup because i wanted to do something and i'll say it's a business okay so what are your current challenges on the job on this business i have a lot of them but i'll just mention few first of all i'll need a platform on how to get across to celebrities out there and secondly a qualified is not just a makeup studio when i was like planning to reason i wasn't like okay i want to do something that is beyond just makeup today a qualified is a company that has come to stay by the grace of god so it's just that we just have to start from somewhere which we're starting from here another challenge is um finance yeah on how to expand because mm -hmm. in future i plan for us to have like um a product line yeah. like a product carrying a qualified yeah. and we want to expand big like we have a makeup school a very big makeup school that after your makeup you can go for other courses same in that school like your manicure yeah. and the rest yeah yes okay so uh, another question I, I, w I want to ask you is um on the issue of you resigning from your paid employment mm -hmm. and then going into this business of makeup full-time any regrets so far no no regrets so far okay so you're, you're happy you took that yes, decision i am happy because i i have to start from somewhere okay. and this is it um any uh, final words to young people out there who are probably stranded because of unemployment and what i would say to them is when <laughs> It's not coming for like you're looking for a job. It's just look for one or two things and do. And be passion driven. Be humble. Be consistent. Be deliberate about anything you're doing in life. Be deliberate. That's Thank you so much, Akon. It's been a pleasure having you on Hustlewella. Thank you.
Osuela is a platform that supports body entrepreneurs. So follow Osuela on all their social media platform. Go to their YouTube, subscribe, share, like, and comment. Thank you. Support the also. The beauty industry in Nigeria has grown beyond what we used to know it and it holds a lot of potentials for many of our teaming youths out there. There are so many opportunities in the beauty, cosmetic and makeup industry that we can tap into. So if you're out there, you're unemployed or you're underemployed or not just satisfied with your job and you're looking for something to give you meaningful financial edge, I think you should consider the Nigerian beauty industry because there are a lot of potentials out there.